it is a continuation of the previous uh, lecture so we have seen it is a periodic signal now how to find the periodic now if we have given some summation of two three signals then how to find the fundamental frequency in this uh, continuous as well as in discrete we will see now now whenever we have given some signals we will find first omega so it is nothing but omega 1 is equal to 100 similarly here omega 2 is 300 omega 3 is 500 now how to find is it a periodic or non periodic first to find omega 1 by omega 2 is it a rational or not so 0 0 is cancelled 1 by 3 is a rational similarly omega 2 by omega 3 again it is a rational next omega 3 by omega 1 so again it is rational that means the x of t is a periodic signal the moment we see some pi or something so we'll one i mean a root suppose 1 by root 2 we got so it's a irrational number <coughs> Now, once we have found that it's a periodic signal, then take it as omega 1 as 100 by next 300, then 500 by 1. Now, see so the fundamental frequency is highest common factor of all numerators. Now, if you see this numerator, this can be written like this 1 into 100. This can be written as 3 into 100. This can be written as 5 into 100. So, the greatest common factor is 100. So that is 100. Then uh, LCM of all denominators. So denominator is 1 only. So LCM is also 1. So the fundamental frequency is omega naught, which is 100 radian per second. If they ask what is the time period t, so it is simply 2 pi by 100. So it is pi by 50. Alright. So if two signals are given, so same procedure. Right. Now. The discrete sign signal is given that like sin 5 pi by 6 and cos 3 pi by 4 and plus sin pi by 3 n. It may be sin, it may be cos. So no problem. So first we know that the n is for any discrete signal n is equal to 2 pi by omega into m. This should be rational for smaller integer, smaller integer m integer we have to put only integer in place of m now i am taking this signal so n1 is equal to 2 pi by omega 1 into m 2 pi by omega 1 is 5 pi by 6 so it is 12 by 5 into m so for smaller we can say m is should be here 5 to become n1 is 12 see 12 by 5 is a rational right so for a smaller m that is m is equal to 5 so this time period of one signal is n1 is equal to 12 next for n2 so 2 pi by omega 2 to m 3 pi by 4 so 2 pi by 3 pi by 4 into m so 4 is going up so pi pi by cancelled 8 by 3 into m so what is m here so minimum integer should be 3 to become this is a time period 8 next so for a pi pi by 3 it is 2 pi by omega 3 into m so 2 pi by pi 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 by 3 so again pi pi cancel it is 6 m for m is equal to 1 it is 6 now <coughs> all three are individually their period so whenever we summation of periodic signals so the final one also will be periodic now how to find the fundamental period so time n is equal to lcm of all the time periods 12 8 6 so if i find 12, 8 6 i will get the time period of 24 that is 4 3 to 6 then 3 3 1 is 2 2 and again 2 so 4 3 is 12 12 2 is 24 so this is a fundamental frequency if they ask <coughs> what is the fundamental frequency in radian per second or etc so it is again same so from the expression only i will find the omega only so omega is equal to 2 pi by n so m is a integer maybe 1 or it may be 2 etc so the smaller one is m pi by 1 <coughs> Next one is how to find a power or a energy energy of a signal. Then what is the power of a given signal? So oftenly we will get a, a find the power of a signal, etc. So we will see that first formulas. So energy is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod x of t whole square dt. So it is true for all conditions and it, it is a discrete it is a summation that is summation n is equal to minus infinity infinity mod x of n whole square next uh, 
to find the power of a signal so generally the power of a signal is so generally it is like a average power so for a given time period we will find the energy then energy by time so generally p is equal to energy by time period right so first we will find the energy by for a particular period then divided by that time period is called power average so generally we will find the average only because the power signals are infinite in duration right so so 1 by t minus t by 2 to t by t so the period is t here now if period is 2t so minus t t to t so it will, it will become 2t in the denominator so we have to remember these two now in a discrete signal if the periodic signals are there so it is formula is limit n tends to infinity 1 by n n is 0 to n minus 1 mod x of n whole square if it is a non periodic signal then limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 so but here minus n to n so again mod x of n whole square remember these formulas for find the energy or power signal now generally there is a uh, some how to is it energy signal or power signal so for energy signal energy should be finite and power is zero average power for a power signal energy is infinite but power is finite now there is a one uh, point that is all periodic periodic signals are power signals but not vice versa that is all power signals cannot be uh, as periodic also so that we'll see in later now if uh, both are infinite so that can be called as neither energy nor power signal suppose if i find these are some uh, properties suppose x of t energy is e then for, for x of a t the energy is e by a so there is a proof here so minus infinity x of a t whole square dt so a t can be replaced by p then dt is equal to dp by a so if i substitute in this expression i will get e by a right for shifting there is no change in the energy so so if we replace t plus a with p so dt is equal to dp so anyway this is zero so again it is becoming u only so these are some properties so previously we said all uh, power signals cannot be uh, periodic so suppose x of n is equal to u of n so if i find period i mean power of this signal so we know that formula is limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 sigma minus n to n mod x of n whole square now 1 by 2n plus 1 limit n tends to infinity u of n is is equal to 1 for n is greater than or equal to 0 0 otherwise so it will be limit n equal to 0 to n x of n is 1 so 1 square now for this type of limits what we need to do 2n plus 1 into upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 so this is n plus 1 so when you want to substitute infinity take n common so 1 plus 1 by n by n common 1 by 2 plus sorry 2 by 2 plus 1 by n so n n cancel if i substitute n equal to infinity this will become 0 this will become 0 so energy is 1 by 2 sorry power is 1 by 2 that means u of n is not a periodic signal but even though we are getting power is finite that means that is the reason all periodic signals are power signals but all power signals cannot be periodic so this is the proof so similarly we can find the energy and the power of a given signals by using the these formulas right so remember this